Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronics Fix. Today I'm gonna to show you how to repair the disk drive on your PS4 Slim. Now this specific repair is for if there's something stuck in the disk drive or if the disk doesn't go in or if you can hear something rattle, rattling around like you've dropped your PS4 or something like that. This is the repair that might fix that. It generally will not fix it if say the disk drive needs to be replaced entirely or if it's not reading disks anymore. This may not be the repair for you, but follow along anyway so you can see how to get something out if you get it stuck in your PS4 Slim disk drive. Now I own a repair shop, so I do lots of these repairs, getting stuff out of people's disk drives. They'll send it in to me and say, hey, I've got something in my disk drive, or sometimes they just say my disks won't go in or it won't read a disk. And what I find a lot of times is there's something stuck in there. Sometimes we find things like coins, things like papers, or I've got a business card here. Um, stuff like that is common things we find in disk drives. If you guys happen to have one where your disk drive's not working and you don't want to tear it in, into it yourself, feel free to send it off. You can make an order for the repair at tronicsfix.com or even just contact us there directly if you have questions about your consoles. Now this specific PS4 Slim doesn't have anything wrong with the disk drive currently. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and slide in some coins into the disk drive. See if we can, oh, there's that one's in there. Get that one in there. Let's go ahead and slide a business card in there. See if we can get that all the way in. It's almost all the way in there. There we have it. You can hear them sliding around. So now that those are in there, let's get it torn apart and I'll show you how to get them out. Okay, now the first thing we're gonna need to do is remove both the top and the bottom cover. So I'm gonna remove this screw right here first and that's gonna take a T8 or T9 security torx. Keep in mind the security Torx is the one with the hole in the middle, so it can go right onto this screw right here. We're just going to remove the bottom cover, pull up on these ends, pull up all the way along, and then pull it forward. And there we have the inside of the PS4 Slim. Now what you need to do at this point is remove this screw. This screw goes to the power supply on the other side. I'll be using a Phillips screwdriver for that. Now we're gonna flip it over and remove the top cover. For the top cover, we pull up right here and right here in the other corner, and then pull up and backwards, and that will remove that top cover. Now we need to remove the power supply and then this metal plate. The first thing we're gonna do is remove these two screws. They're both the T8 or T9 security Torx. And then we're gonna to need to remove five Phillips screws, two here, two here, and the one in the middle. We'll also need to remove this antenna from the back of the power supply. For the antenna, we just grab the front of it, lift up just a little bit, and that'll move it back. And then we need to deroute the cable from the little channel right there. Once that's done, we're gonna lift up on the power supply just enough to get this plate out. But we gotta remove all these screws on the plate first. We're gonna remove this T8 security torque screw first. After that, we need to remove one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 Phillips screws. Keep in mind the black screw goes right on the top front right here. Now that the screws are loose, we can lift up on the plate just a little bit. Actually a better place to be right here and feel that it's nice and loose. So the next thing we wanna do is lift up on the power supply on this edge and get it kind of loose, just about like that. And then we can lift up on the metal plate like this and pull it out. Now that we have that out, we get a view of the bottom of the disk drive. Now, as you can see, you can actually see the business card we put in right there. So what we need to do here is first of all, remove this little metal tab right here. A lot of times I get comments from people telling me, hey, I took my disk drive apart and I lost this metal piece, or I found this piece and I don't know, don't know where it goes, it goes right here on the edge. So we're gonna remove that first. Then we need to remove this bottom plate right here. And how we do that is remove this screw and this screw, and then we're gonna pull up and then pull out. I'm using a Phillips triple zero for this. So now we're gonna grasp, grasp gently on these black arms, there's various places you can do it, and then lift up quite a bit and pull right out. And that removes the bottom plate 
of the disk drive. Now that that's out, you can see our business card right here and our coins right here. So we're just gonna obviously remove those out of the disk drive. And now our disk drive is clean. We've removed those out of here. And the only other thing that I sometimes recommend you do would be to clean the laser right here using like some Q-tips and isopropyl alcohol. And then after that, just put the plate back on, the two screws back in, on, and then we put the other metal plate on top. Now, if you've dropped your PS4 Slim or your disc just aren't going in, or it sounds like there's something rolling around in there when you know there's nothing that's been in there, one thing you might need to check are your rollers and this connecting bar right here. Sometimes these rollers can pop out of place, this connecting rod can pop out of place, stuff like that. So if that's the case, you're gonna need to find this connecting rod and then reinstall it in here. I'm going to remove it now to show you how that works. So I'm just gonna pull up on it and this will get the rollers out of place. So these are the rollers, this is what they look like. And then this is the connecting rod. So to install them correctly, you need to install the right end first and it's got the, um, it's kind of got three grooves in it and they just fit in this gear right over here. Once it's correctly in that gear, then you can just take it and snap it down. Then you install the next one. You install the connecting bar right there and then you wanna put this end first over here and then connect the connecting bar into the other side of the other roller. And once that's done, you can push it back down into its space and it'll click into place like so. So that shows you how to fix the rollers. It also shows you how to remove the rollers if you need to clean them. A lot of times these rollers get dirty and that makes it so your discs are really hard to get in and out. They don't feed in correctly or they do it really slowly. You'll just want to take some isopropyl alcohol and a Q-tip, remove these, and then you can clean these rollers. And that will solve that problem in most cases. So there's that plate. And the two screws are installed. Now before we put the metal plate on the top, we need to make sure and install this small metal piece right on the edge right here. Like that, there's a little groove it goes into. And then this metal plate goes on. So we're gonna lift up on the back of the power supply and get the metal plate slid into position right there. And now we need to install all 10 screws on here. Remember the black screw goes here. The long T8 or T9 security Torx goes here. We'll install those screws first. Now when you put it back together, there, you do need to also note that there's one screw that has threads that are closer together. It's called a machine screw and it goes down into metal on this hole right here. Now all the screws for this metal plate have been installed. As you can see, every hole is filled. We've got the 10 screws in. Now we just need to push down on the power supply in the front, make sure it's fully seated. We will put our antenna back on. So we'll make sure that it's lined up and then we'll put a screw right in there where it goes. And then after that, we'll put these four screws in. And then the metal plate with the two T8 or T9 torques. Now that's fully installed. We do want to remember to put in the one screw that goes right here on the other side. And there we have it. And now we just need to install the covers. So I'm gonna flip it over, install the top cover first. We're gonna slide it in from the back and then push forward on the front and the sides. And that's the front. Now we need to install the bottom cover. Again, we start from the front, make sure it's fully seated. We push back on the case to get it all the way in and then make sure the little hard drive tab is tucked under. And then we push on the sides and the back. And now that is fully seated. Now we do need to remember to put in the one black screw in the back. And there we have it. We have repaired our PS4 Slim disk drive that had coins stuck in it and we're done.
So that's how you open up your PS4 Slim to get to the underside of the disk drive. At some point in the future, we'll do a video showing you how to replace the laser. So let me know in the comments if you want to see that video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And always let me know in the comments what you think of the video if you want to see more like it. And once again, if you have any problems with your PS4 Slim, PS4 Pro, Xbox One, Xbox One S, anything like that, shoot me an email from my website, tronicsfix.com, or you can also make an order for repairs there. Thanks for hanging out with me, and have a great day.